What up, everybody? It's your girl, July from Kickback Couture. Today, I'm going to show you how to make 808s in layers, both the sample player and the wave edition. So this will be like a two-part tutorial. The 808s we're going to make are going to sound like this. Let's jump straight into it right now. I'm with the sample. I have the sample player pulled up. You what? So I'm going to right click and reset this device. Um, it should have already been reset. For me, it was. For you, if it wasn't, then uh, that's how you do it. Now I'm going to turn off these other engines. Keep on the first one. And I'm going to go down and select wave sign. All right. And I'm going to play this pattern so that we can hear what's going on. Pull down the octave. All right. Now, after we do that, let's just move in terms of signal flow. To the right, we have a filter. We can cut off some highs if we want to. I'm going to keep all of that in there. Distortion. Now the distortion is going to be over here in this area. So we got drive distortion, scream, and fuzz. And we could control the amount here. Now over here we have delay and reverb. We're going to turn these off. We don't want delay or reverb. I don't want delay or reverb on my 808. I don't know about you. All right. so. Next, we got panning. I'm keeping my 808 mono. Um, as for, I like to keep my 808 mono because it's a low frequency. And if you have your low frequencies wide, it could cause phase cancellation. Um, as for the sustain, I'm going to bring it all the way down. Attack is all the way down. I'm going to bring the decay up. Decay I want long enough to have it bouncy. It's going to depend on your track. No sustain here and release could also depend on your track. But if you have it all the way down, you'll hear some popping like this. So at least a little bit of release will be good. Volume control here if you need it. And now we can hear that high and a bit clearly if we wanted to cut some out. All right, now we can add a second engine. Now, before I add a second engine, let's just turn it on. Let's go with a, a saw wave on top of this. Turn that down. Put the octave on negative two. Bring down the cutoff. without it and with it and let's do this ADSR the same way as we did the other one so kind of subtle in there but it makes a huge difference now you could keep going and experimenting and adding in these different engines but as for me my next steps would be making sure that it's in mono. So down here in this area, I'm going to change this from poly to mono, and I'm going to change my range to 12 so that if I use my pitch wheel, it'll go up an octave. So it'll sound like this. Something like that, of course, played in time for performance purposes. As I said, you can go further, add more engines, whatever you would like, play with the effects, the filter envelope here. Do you experiment? Let's jump into the waves edition. Same thing for this. Mine is already reset, but if yours isn't, come down, right click, reset device. Gonna mute these engines and start off with this one. Let's see what sounds we have in here. Just browsing. Let's go ahead and use this triangle. Sub 
frequencies. All right, I really like how that sounds in my ears. <laughs> okay, so same thing as for the cutoff. Headphone shaking, distortion, drop the volume quite a bit. Let's uh see what other distortions. A mount knob here. Now we are clipping, so we could turn the volume down here. Let's go ahead and bring down the sustain and bring up the decay. So we get that bounce. Now, before I move on to the next step, I'm gonna do uh, similar to what I did to the, the sample edition. Let's go ahead and bring this range up to 12. And then here, we're gonna put this on mono. Get rid of some mud and overlapping of the 808s. All right, let's add in a second sound. Let's go with the... Uh, I saw what I wanted to use and then forgot the name of it. Um, Percuss bass. Bringing down the sustain. Settle in there. And we can keep going on, like I said. But basically, that's how you make 808s in layers. So definitely don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you would like to see next in the comments. It's all culture. Kick back and cook up.